This video is going to be sort of a showcase of a sketch I wrote in processing to play around with an illusion called the polygonization effect. This illusion was shown to me at the 2014 Vision Sciences Society Conference by Dr. Kenzo Sakurai of the Tohoku Gakuen University Department of Psychology. And basically what you're looking at is six circles which are kind of blinking back and forth between a simple outline circle and a slightly smaller circle that has sort of a smeared inwards gradient. And if you look at that cross in the center here, and focus for a bit, after a few blinks, you'll start to get this strange impression that the circles have corners, and they'll start to look like polygons of some sort. And for me, it's interesting because it doesn't look like just any polygon. It looks like maybe something between five to seven sides. It doesn't look like a rectangle for sure, and I don't think it looks like an octagon or anything more complicated. I'd say it looks most like a hexagon. And as you stare at that center cross, you even start to get the impression that you can tell where the corners are. <laughs> it's really strange. And if you look back uh, centrally, if you don't just look at them in your periphery, you can see that, of course, they're just normal circles. Uh, there are no corners on them at all, and it's just a strange illusion. So I made this little sketch to play around with this effect. And you can change various parameters of these sliders down here. You can change the size of the circles. You can change their eccentricity, how far away they are from the center. You can change the frequency of the flashing, go slower or faster. You can change the number of circles as well. And if they start to overlap, you can change the eccentricity or the size uh, to get rid of that problem. Uh, you can change the values of both circles as well. So this is how light or dark they are. So circle value one does the simple line circle. You can make it very dark or you can make it very light. And circle value 2 does the gradient circle. Same thing there. Uh, you can also change the relative sizes of those two circles. So here as you go more towards the left, the circle with the gradient becomes much smaller than the outline circle. But if you go to the right, it will become larger than it. And I find that the illusion still sort of works when the gradient circle is larger, but not as well. If you go back to smaller, you'll see that it will much more immediately start to look polygonal. <laughs> and here on the bottom right you can change uh, sort of the thickness of that gradient and the gradient circle. So as you go to the right it gets blurrier and wider and the gradient stretches further into the center of the circle. And as you go to the left it gets narrower and more line-like overall. You can play around with that as well. And when the program starts to run it's preset at the values that I find give a pretty good effect. And so if you're looking at this on YouTube, I'll put a link to the program uh, in the description and on the video itself. If you're looking at this on my blog, that should be right below you. You can play around with it right there. Uh, any feedback would be great if you have any questions or suggestions for different parameters to include or things like that. That would be great to hear. And I hope you enjoy this.